We're here at Old and Dingy Berlin High School for your second annual youth football camp. Can you first just kind of explain what the camp's all about, what you're trying to accomplish here today? Yeah, so this is a football camp. Um, we're sponsored by uh, USA Football Fundamentals. So it's a fundamentals camp. We're working on uh, catching the ball, throwing the ball, running the ball. We're working on you know defensive techniques. We're working on tackling. And so the emphasis here is getting a ton of reps. We want the kids running around and moving. We need them to be learning skills, but at the end of the day, it's about having fun for these cats. So I think we, we ended up with a little bit over 230 kids. We ended up bussing in about 20 kids from the Boys and Girls Club from Columbus. And so uh, this is a really special event for us, our second year. And uh, thus far, it's been really good. What was it that made you decide you wanted to start a camp like this? Well, it's interesting, man. I mean, you know, guys retire, they start a charity and that's what they do. And so for, I, I felt like I needed to do it. But for me, it was important to be able to have a free camp. And, you know, the, the, the demographic of Olin Tangy, you know, Olin Tangy, Berlin, I mean, you can look over your shoulder and see some of the homes here. Not like these kids need a free camp, but I have the ability to do it. What's special for us is we've had opportunities like busing kids in, and then next year we'll have an opportunity to host a free camp uh, that's more accessible to kids in, in areas of need. So um, I think it's really awesome. I just enjoy feeding into the community where I grow up and, um, you know, hosting a bunch of kids who want to come out here and have fun. What do you feel like is the growth potential for this event? How, how much bigger can it get? Uh, it can get as big as we want it to get. We've had sponsors that are fantastic and I've been shouting them out all day. Uh, we had Ortho One who did a great job, Lindy and Fonte Foundation, Giant Eagle. We've had um, some, some connections that my dad had, Merrill Lynch. Uh, we had Felicia, who's a wholesaler that was involved in this and then a bunch of other people. Uh, Brian Murphy, my guy who made all these shirts and did a great job on them. So we, we've had really great activation in people getting involved. Now for us, it's how many kids can we manage? You know, like, like what can we do with this? But again, Olin Tangy Berlin, who's a sponsor for us as well, letting us use this field for free and letting us have the staff for a day. Uh, some of these guys who actually coached me in high school, they do a great job taking ownership. So as many kids as we can involve, that's what we're gonna try to keep striving for. You've got uh, Tyvis Powell, one of your teammates out here today too. What does it mean to have him come out and help you out with this? Yeah, I mean, Tyvis is one of my dogs, so having him out here is fun. He is one of the, the most fun guys around. And so he does well with the kids. He jumps in the drills. He gets super involved. And so it's awesome for us. And I think it just speaks to the brotherhood that we have. What else should people know about the Joshua Perry Family Foundation? What are some of the other things that you guys are working on right now? You know, we, we work within academics, athletics, and the arts. So um, obviously academics is huge. Um, I was an, was an athlete. My older brother is a musician. And then we work with other charities like Autism Speaks. My younger brother's on the autism spectrum. But uh, we want to inspire our youth through empowerment, self-efficacy, in education so we empower them with tools and mechanisms uh, self-efficacy is making them confident in their ability to use them and then the education parts are tie-in but we've done uh, school supply giveaways which this is also a fundraiser for school supplies um, we've given away uh, Chromebooks at an elementary school so they could do some music technology there um, and just getting out in the community and spending time so, you know talking to the kids at school and talking about challenges they face, talking about leadership and trust, talking about growing up and character, I think is big. So uh, we just want to fill a need that we see within the community and, and really put role models in place for young people. Is there a message that you'll share with the kids here today that you want them to, to leave here, take home with them? Yeah, just, you know, at the end of the day, you got to be good to people and just appreciate everything that you have. And some of these kids have probably a lot more to appreciate than others, but just everything that you have that's going right in your life is something to appreciate. And then all the challenges that you struggle through and you overcome, that's also something to appreciate too. So um, just making sure that these kids understand the type of character it needs to be successful.